You decided to write your favorite celebrity, athlete, or influencer. You might just want to be sending them some fan mail, or perhaps you want to request an autograph. Either way, before you sit down, you're going to want to decide whether you're going to handwrite your letter or type it out. There's some pros and cons to both, but there's an alternative. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I like to do it, which is kind of a middle ground. So if you're handwriting your letter, uh, it's really personal and it looks pretty good. Um, I think it gives it a nice touch. But at the same time, it's prone to mistakes and you can do typos and grammatical errors, which can make it difficult to read sometimes. Now the benefit of typing it out is that there's spell check and of course you can um, you know, do a lot of editing on there. So middle ground for me is using the Cricut. Uh, it has a handwriting tool where you can just do a pen attachment right in there and uh, you just type out what you want it to write, um, pick your font and it'll write it out in, you know, using live ink and kind of looking like handwriting. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do it. The Cricut is pretty easy to use. First what you're going to want to do is type up your letter in your favorite text editor, you know, Microsoft Word, even Notepad, whatever you like. Type it up and you know do all your editing and spell checking, all that stuff in the text editor. Then once you got everything written out, you're gonna just open up Cricut and you're gonna use the text block and you're gonna type your or copy and paste your text into there. Uh, then you're gonna want to choose your font. You gotta make sure that it's a handwriting font, so you might have to download uh, an additional font so that. Um, you can use it because if you use any kind of regular font, it'll make your letters look all blocky. Um, and you want to make sure that it's just, you know, writing out kind of single lines of text. I recently did a survey of the Through the Mail autograph collecting community. And I asked a lot of questions about the hobby and how people practice it. Uh, one of the things I found was that about 68% of Through the Mail autograph collectors actually handwrite their letters. So there's a lot of people who take the time to do this very thorough, diligent process. And I understand why. Uh, I've tried handwriting and typing and I haven't personally found any real difference of you know, my success rate, but uh, I think it is a good practice to handwrite it if you have the time because I mean, it just you know, looks more personal at the end of the day. Uh, so I think that's why a lot of people do it, but I do like the look of the Cricut also. I think it gives you that handwritten uh, experience, but it also you know, gets rid of a lot of those errors that you, know, you really don't want. And uh, I think it's kind of the best of, the bo of both worlds. If you're interested in checking out you know, what kind of trends are going on in the hobby, I'll put the link down in the description below so you can go to the article and uh, read some of the other survey questions that I posed. It takes a minute for the software to convert what you wrote into pen strokes, so it's going to take a little bit to load. And it also takes a little bit for it to actually write down uh, what you wrote onto the paper itself. So just give it some time, but uh, I'm going to take this time to talk a little bit about the best practices for writing an autograph request. So you're going to want to make sure that you're always kind and courteous up front. And just remember that someone you're asking for an autograph, uh, you're asking them to do you a favor, right? So be polite and you know, don't demand stuff and just come in with the expectation that it's possible that they might not even get back to you or they might not have ever received your letter. Sometimes they get intercepted by agents or lost in the mail or whatnot. So um, just go into it knowing that, hey, this person is going to, I'm asking them to do me a favor and I should be polite as possible. So that's my number one rule. Uh, definitely every time I write a letter, I'm gonna always say a little bit of something about me, who I am, uh, and more importantly, why I'm a fan of that person. So if it's uh, you know, an athlete, maybe they're part of my favorite team, or if it's an actor, they did a movie that is very important to me, or you know, influencers, or any kind of other public figure you can send an autograph request to. Um, so I always want to talk a little bit about why they're special to me.